Hey guys, so since Android Marshmallow we have to request certain permissions at runtime. For example when we want to access the camera or the external storage. I already made a video where I explain how to do this the native way, but it's quite a complicated process and can be confusing. And as so often there are external libraries available that help us make this process a bit easier. And I want to show you one of them in this video and it's called Permissions Dispatcher. I will put a link to the source code of this example into the description box and let's start. So first we have to go into our build.cradle file with module colon app in its name and add the dependencies. So I'm gonna put them between here. I copy paste them, but I will also put a link to these dependencies into the description box so you can copy them from there. When that's done we click sync now, wait a short moment and then we are ready to go. Now let's prepare our main activity layout. In here we simply want to put one button. When we click this button we want to request our permission. So we keep this text viewer, but we change it into a button. We change the text to a open camera and we give it an idea so we can find it in Java code at plus id slash button underscore open underscore camera. And that's already it for the layout. Now we go into our manifest file here in this manifests folder, Android manifest.xml. And up here we have to add opening angle bracket uses permission and here we search for android.permission.camera. We close this with a slash and that's the manifest part. Now before Android Marshmallow this was enough to get this permission, but for newer versions we also have to request this at runtime. So when we want to access this camera, the user will be asked to grant this permission. If you want to know how to do this without this library, you can find a video on that in the info card box in the top right corner of this video. Okay, let's switch over to our main activity Java file. And in here we will request this permission with the help of this library, which makes extensive use of annotations. So at the start we go above this public class main activity line and write add runtime permissions. So we register this activity to a request permissions, which is necessary for this to work. Now let's set an on-click listener on our button. So we create variable, button, we call it button open camera equals find view by id, r.id dot button open camera was the id we gave it. Now we take this variable and set an on-click listener and we pass a new on-click listener. And in here we want to open our camera. Now in this video we won't actually open this camera, we will just request the permission. So we call a method here, open camera, and we will create this method below our onCreate method. Important, we can't make this method private. So we just write void open camera, and in here instead of actually opening the camera, we will simply show a toast message with toast.make text. This is for the context, opening camera for the text, and for the length, toast.length short, and lastly a dot show to show this toast message. Now this open camera method needs the camera permission to access it. So we go above this line here as well and annotate it with needs permission. And here we have to pass which permission it needs. It needs manifest.permission.camera. And now we have to compile this project. So we click either on run or simply on build make project. Because we don't actually need to run this app, we just want to compile it. We wait until it's done. And now we don't need this open camera method here. We didn't need this in the first place, it's just to show you where we wanted to open this camera. But instead of calling this open camera method directly, we now, after compiling, can access a class called main activity permission dispatcher. The name of this generated class is always the name of the activity with permission dispatcher appended on it. So we take this and now we call dot and here we have open camera with permission check. So it took our open camera method and created this open camera with permission check method. If we would have called this whatever method, the name of this method here would be whatever method with permission check. So we call this. And here we have to pass a context for which we pass main activity dot this. And now this method here will check for the permission. And if the permission was granted, it will call our open camera method. So when we go on this and press Ctrl B, we get to its declaration and here we see it checks if it has the permission and if this is the case, it calls open camera on the target, which is our main activity. So we get to our open camera method. We don't have to call this open camera method directly here. Instead we call this open camera with permission check method. 
And now below this, we also have to overwrite on request permission result, this one here. And below the super part, we take our main activity permission dispatcher again and call dot on request permission result here as well. And here we have to pass this for the context. And then we pass our request code, which we get passed here and grant results. So we pass these values, request code, comma, grant results. And this is all we have to do in this method here. This is already enough to request this permission. But we can also show a rationale to the user, which will be shown when he denied the permission and tried to access this feature again. We can handle situations where the permission was denied and where never ask again was ticked. So before we test our app, let's handle these situations as well. So we have everything covered. So we create a method void show rational for camera. And this method has to take a permission request, which we call request. Curly braces. We have to annotate this method as well with add on show rational. And here we also have to pass our manifest dot permission dot camera. And in here we want to show an alert dialog, which tells the user why we need this permission. So this rational is when the user already denied this permission, but tries to access the camera again. This usually means that he doesn't really know what this permission is for. So we show a dialog and explain why we need this permission. So we simply create an alert dialog with new alert dialog dot builder. Press alt enter to implement this class and we choose the one with the v7 in its package name. We pass is for the context. No semicolon here yet because in the next line we continue. Dot set title which will say permission needed. And the next time we write dot set message, this permission is needed because of this and that. This is where you explain why you need this permission. Now we need an OK button with set positive button. We pass OK for the text. And it also needs an onclick listener. So for the second argument, we pass new onclick listener. We get this onclick method. Before we take care of this, we go below this. Dot set negative button. The text here will be cancel. And it needs an onclick listener as well. And lastly, we call dot show to create and show this dialog, semicolon. And now we can take this request we get passed here in our onclick methods and call dot proceed when the user presses OK and request dot cancel when the user clicks cancel. And this will take care of the rest. But we will see this in action in a moment. And two more small methods. One is void on camera denied in which we will show a toast message. Toast.make text is for the context permission denied toast.length short dot show. We annotate this with on permission denied and again manifest.permission.camera and one more void on never ask again. Here we will also show a toast message so I'm going to copy this and we will simply write never asking again. So we see when these methods are triggered and we annotate this as well on never ask again manifest.permission.camera and these are all the situations we can handle with this library. So now let's test it. So I click on open camera and we get prompted this permission request. Now when we click deny we will show this permission denied toast message here which is annotated with on permission denied. Permission denied open camera. Now this is our rationale. This is where we explain why we need this permission. We deny this permission, we want to access our camera again, and this means we usually need an explanation why we need this camera permission. When we click cancel, it will show denied again, because it triggers this request.cancel method. We see our permission again, and now we can click OK, and we get prompted our permission request again. This time, because we denied it before, we can take this don't ask again here. Or we can allow it. When we allow it, we will trigger our show camera method, where we show the toast message as well. So we click allow, opening camera. This opening camera method is this part here, which we annotated with needs permission. 
Remember, we don't call this method directly, instead we call open camera with permission check and this takes care of calling this method if the permission was granted. So this whole permission request part is still not a very simple process, but it's a bit easier with this library. If this video was helpful, please leave a like and if you want more Android tutorials, don't forget to subscribe. Take care.